2007 Chrysler 300 3.5 V6 cleaned out the intake cleaned it out with some brake cleaner really good used the screwdriver turned the flapper around soaked it and we installed it back in like I said the pain in the butt is to install it is this piece right here is to get it past that firewall but once it's in it's good so we put back 10 millimeter bolts put back the actuator plug it in actuator plug it in flow sensor plug it in throttle body four bolts this bracket 15 millimeter on the bottom plug it in sensor three hoses one two three and see the piece in the back the one that causes all the problem the way I got that one in I use a saw screwdriver Put it against that pipe over there. See it right there. I just pushed it up and I pushed it into the intake manifold. Clicked right in. I replaced the seal. That seal comes with a new plenum uh, gasket. All right, I'm going to show you the crud that came out of that pipe. This is the crud that comes out of that pipe. This is the stuff that gets from the oil galleys up to that pipe into the intake manifold, and this is what jams up that butterfly. All right, we're going to go start it up. I'm sure most of you guys have the same thing on this car. As soon as you start it up, the check engine light came on. After I changed this actuator, and I sprayed a little something in there, it now came on in about 5 seconds to 10 seconds. But it still came on. So we're going to go start it right now live. And let's cross our fingers. Let's see if the check engine light comes on. Good sign. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Oh, it passes time. I think that might be in the fix for now. Show would save you twelve hundred dollars. Let's give a little rev here. Like I said, this one only has 62,000 miles or 65,000 miles. So some of you guys have more than 100,000 miles on it. So it's carboned up pretty good. But if you take the time, clean the butterflies in there. I think one of the main tricks that I did was to take a screwdriver and turn the shaft back. Like open it up more than it's supposed to. Only to get the rest of the carbon that's stuck in there. You know, you know how flaps are stuck. They just go this way and this way and that's it. Well, if you go this way a little bit more, sometimes you knock a little bit of the dirt out. So now when it goes this way, it's a little bit more free. So what I do is I just turn the two driver and I turn it just a little bit more as I sprayed the brake cleaner in there. All right, and I use another cleaner too. For some reason, I can't forget it, but I'm gonna get it right now and let you know. Hold on. Simple green, that's what I use. Simple green, non-toxic, biodegradable. I shot that right in there too, let it soak. Soaked it pretty good. Clean that pretty good. So far, so good. Let's just double check it again. No light. All right, gonna take it for a road test. Do our 50 to 75 miles, and hopefully, uh, this car can pass inspection because it failed inspection. All right, over and out. Enjoy.